Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us understand about blob versioning in Azure storage account. Before that, please subscribe to my channel for more content on Azure. Blob versioning is a data protection feature of Azure storage account. Assume you have uploaded a file to the blob storage and you modified the file a lot. Each time you modify the file, a new version will be created and later point in time if you want to go back to any of the previous versions it is possible with blob versioning let us understand this with a demo go to portal.azure.com if you don't have an account with azure you can create one account for free and go into your storage account if you don't know how to create a storage account you can follow the link that is there at the top of this video by default blob versioning is not enabled for the storage account you have to go to the data management and data protection and here we have to enable this checkbox and save you can do this while creating the storage account to create a new resource search for storage account create and while creating if you go to this data protection tab it is there here you can enable this while creating the storage account also. Now go to containers and here I'm creating a new container. The name should be in the lower case. Blob versioning and I'm creating the container. Now I'm going into the container. You can understand the blob versioning container that we have created here as a root folder. You can give any name to it. And here I'm uploading the file. The file is uploaded. Now I'm clicking on the file. And this is the content that is there inside this blob if you go to the versions there are no versions currently and i am modifying this files like version 1.0 changes and i am saving the file now go to the versions and if you see a new version is created again go back to edit and make one more change version 2.0 changes and save it so each time you modify the file a new version will be created and now i want to reset this file to the initial state so i can select the initial version and i can choose make current version if you want to make the second change that we did as a current version you can do that too you can select this checkbox and click on make current version so i am resetting the file to its initial state and if you see here the file is reverted to its initial state and if you see as this is also a change to the file a new version is created that is all in the video if you like my explanation please give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel thank you